I'm Michael Krigsman, an industry analyst and the host of CXO Talk. We're speaking with Josh Mueller, who is the Senior Vice President of Global Marketing at Dun & Bradstreet. And we're talking about the Serious Decisions Demand Waterfall. So Josh, tell us about the Serious Decisions Demand Waterfall. Well, the Serious Decisions Demand Waterfall has been around for over a decade. And essentially what it is, it's a framework that B2B companies can use to determine how well their marketing activities are working. I've targeted a million people, 100,000 of them engaged with me, 10,000 of them went to our sales team, 5,000 of those became opportunities, and maybe I closed 1,000 of those. And you're able to track what's working at every stage so that you can have better yield over time. So it gives you a greater precision in terms of understanding the what's happening with your marketing spend. That's absolutely right. It's a standard methodology that many of the biggest and best brands in the world have adopted. And maybe this is an obvious question, but why should we use it? It allows you to see which marketing activities are actually yielding the results that you want. There's a lot of discipline in the system. There's a lot of definitions and best practices where you're able to see, okay, if I launch these campaigns against these personas with this much time that passes, what am I actually yielding from that, from a closed one perspective? not just an engagement perspective. Um, pipeline doesn't pay the bills, ultimately closed one revenue pays the bills. Right now, marketing is all about data. So how has it evolved to address what's happening in marketing today? What it's done is it's taking the framework that was really historically marketing focused and it's expanded that to be marketing, sales, and product. And it treats those as equal kind of seats at the table to collectively create um, demand and ultimately close that demand. Um, the other thing I really like about the framework, it's gone from the concept of an individual buyer, um, an individual lead, to the concept of buying groups and buying committees within complex accounts. Really interesting how the master data kind of underpins the collaboration elements of doing this type of marketing. Even if you have a list of accounts and you know who you're going after, you may have sales talking to one group and marketing talking to another group, not even realizing one, they're, they're part of the same company family, or two, they're even within the same company and you're having different conversations. A clear master data strategy ensures that that doesn't happen. Would it be correct to say that it links master data to collaboration, to account-based marketing? It's absolutely correct. I mean, the role of data has really changed the way the waterfall works. So you're using the data then to build up, shall we say, a 3D picture of who you should be talking with, who the team should be talking with. I mean, leveraging kind of clean, integrated, organized data is what makes that possible. The complexity of accounts is often lost on an organization and having that clear master data strategy ensures that you don't do that. What advice do you have for implementation? I think the first thing is to ensure that you really do have that alignment. It's something that's easy to talk about, but really hard to do. I think the second piece is ensuring you do have a really clear data strategy. How are you using data and analytics to know who to go after and who within those accounts to go after? Start with a pilot, start with a test and learn approach. Maybe it's a particular product, maybe it's a particular line of business or persona. Get with your product teams and your sales teams, agree on what you're going to go after, agree on the time frame of the test. Be open to failing and like failing forward and learning over time. And then once you accomplish it for that one thing, you'll build a lot of credibility, you'll build a lot of success, and you can scale from there. How does an organization know or measure themselves to know how they're doing? What you're able to do is clearly identify who your addressable market is and then follow the steps of the waterfall all the way through the closed one revenue. And um, that works for a kind of traditional lead waterfall as well as um, an account-based marketing. Um, so if I know that I'm going after these 10 accounts within this persona, I can see the one revenue from all of those marketing activities. So much of this is really about the, the collaboration as much as the process itself. We now have a mechanism in place where we meet monthly with our product and sales leaders. We meet quarterly, we predict pipeline 18 months out. We work backwards from that and it's really changed the way we go to market. So maybe we could even say that the process drives the collaboration that then must take place. One of my favorite things about it is when we make a decision, it's no longer in a silo. The decisions we make happen across the company. Okay, Josh Mueller, thank you so much.